Hey, Jen from BK here, Hot 97, Next Generation Weekend at Jenny's. I am next to the incomparable and iconic Viola Davis here at the Tribeca Film Festival for her documentary, A Touch of Sugar. I feel like I should go like this and bow down like Beyonce says. How are you feeling, Viola? A little tired, but good. <laughs> I'm good. So I got to commend you because you are a brave woman. You went skydiving recently, right? How was that experience? So, G, did Will Smith inspire you to do that, or you just went on a whim? No, no, Will, you didn't inspire me. Well, he did a little bit. When I saw him jump, I said, okay, you can't get one up on me, Will. <laughs> I have to tell you, it was one of the highlights of my life. I would have been so scared. I heard you, you kind of free your mind when you jump out of a plane. That's what people have told me. Did you feel that way? I did free my mind. It is. I have to tell you, it is absolutely the absence of fear, which I am shocked at, is that while you're dropping, and you're dropping for 30 seconds 30 before seconds. the parachute comes, and you're dropping at 200 miles per hour, but because of wind velocity, <clears throat> you're flying more than you're just dropping. And you are absolutely cognizant. It is absolutely the absence of fear, and what it speaks to is once again, it's fear that stops us from doing everything. I think it's the closest I'll ever get to letting go and letting God. It was awesome. I might try since you described it like that because I'd be scared for my life, but I want to be one with God and have that free feeling, so I'm going to try. Well, we're here for a touch of sugar. Um, a documentary. As you all know, she's also behind the scenes as an amazing producer. So speak to us about why you wanted to shed light on this epidemic. Well, I'm narrating this film. Um, uh, Merck is producing this film about confronting the diabetes crisis in America. You have 30 million adults who are living with type 2 diabetes and 84 million adults living with pre-diabetes and most don't know it. We're not talking about type 1. We're not talking about children. So when you look at 324 million people living in this country, you're looking at probably close to half the population. So we are at epidemic proportions. Somebody needs to give a voice to this disease. And it is a disease, just like any number of diseases. And it needs to be managed. People need to be educated about it. And here's the thing, people need advocates. There are not a lot of people who have the resources out there, like the 46 million poor people who live in this country, who live in food deserts, that don't have access to health care. Um, so it's like we need to strap on our armor, and we need to tackle it in a way that's, that is like a, 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 a superhero, basically. It's deeper than sugar. sugar. First of all, sugar is hidden in everything. It's hidden in whole low-fat foods. Um, sugar is in fruit. If you're predisposed to diabetes, fruit is very healthy, but fruit to a diabetic is, can be like candy. Um, and, and also it's deeper than just exercise and food. Some people have a genetic disposition to it. Some people it comes with age, it comes from being in menopause. Is any number of factors, which is why we need education, which is why we need advocacy. That is why. And it, there needs to be the myth that's out there is you, you're the one who caused it. You just need to lose that weight. You're overweight. You're over whatever. There are skinny people who have diabetes. There are overweight people who don't have diabetes and vice versa. Um, we have to tackle the complexity of the disease is what we need to do. Absolutely, and it's premiering today at the Tribeca Film Festival, but if there's viewers out there who want to find out more information about the doc, where can they go? You can go to atouchofsugarfilm.com, and there's information there if you need it, you know, um, but it's important documentary. And by the way, very touching stories within the documentary. Absolutely. Viola Davis, before we wrap up, they're taking me out of here. I wish I had more time with you. I do this thing on my show real fast. It's called Rapid Roulette, where I ask you random questions, and whatever comes to your mind, I need you to answer, okay? What's something you always wanted to do as a child but never got to do? Oh, oh, oh I never got to do. I've done everything. I'm, uh, what did I always want to do? I always wanted to uh, uh, horse. Horse. Yeah, uh, really trying on the horse. Okay, 
What TV channel doesn't exist but really should? What TV show that doesn't exist? TV channel should exist but really doesn't? What TV channel that doesn't exist but really doesn't? How to manage natural hair. I love that. What an idea. Viola Davis, thank you so much for sitting down with me and we love you and all the next generation of actresses and producers. Make sure you follow this woman right here. She's a superhero. I gone to Egypt and rode on a camel. That's what I should have said. And I'm sure you will. Hopefully we'll follow you on social media and see you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Viola.